Murder charges against a Valley babysitter are suddenly dropped. I left Dylan like my own. First degree murder and child abuse charges have been dropped against a Valley daycare operator more than three years after the death of a four month old baby. Karina Sun is live in downtown Phoenix with the story. Karina. Patty Lisa Randall says that she was guilty until proven innocent and she doesn't know how so many doctors and law enforcement officers could have gotten it wrong. Conclusions that could have cost Randall her life. 49 year old Lisa Randall along with her family members say they've waited three years for this day. I always felt like it would come out right because we had the truth. It's just crushed her, you know, and uh, we, we made it here and um, it's been a long time coming. The former babysitter spent seven months in prison charged with first degree murder of four month old Dylan Nutella. She was watching the baby at her home daycare in April of 2007 when he went unconscious, later dying at the hospital. If convicted, Randall could have faced the death penalty. For a county attorney, a district attorney, uh, the seeking of the death penalty is perhaps one of the most difficult decisions that one can make. So County Attorney Rick Romley, newly reappointed to the office, hired an outside expert to review the case. The doctor concluded it was a SIDS-like illness that killed baby Dylan. And it was unanimously recommended that this matter be dismissed, uh, which was done today. But Randall's attorney says there's still one more hurdle to clear. A judge will decide whether the case will be dismissed with or without prejudice, which could allow the case to be filed again in the future if new evidence is discovered. The state needs to dismiss this with prejudice because they're keeping this hanging over Lisa's head. Uh, she's been sick. She's lost her house. She's lost her husband, her marriage. And Romley says there are a number of other death penalty cases that are currently under review at his office. Meanwhile, Randall says that she does plan to file suit against Peoria PD as well as the medical examiner's office, among others. Reporting live in Phoenix, Karina Sun, 3TV.